All right, honey, I'm going to go down to the block. Okay. Let's do it. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, son. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Let's go. So East has just ended and we're coming into week six. Week six on the build here at Kingfisher. Well, here we go. The boys are on break break time I'm just gonna check out how's it all going so we're still in backfill stage so this is all the debris so this is the debris we're using I'm not sure where they got all that from but they got it <laughs> looks like an old house <laughs> someone didn't pay their mortgage didn't pay their bill maybe so debris and we've got sand and also wet sand. Keen to check it out. You can see all the fill there. It's a warm day. Hello, buddy. Hey. Boys are on break. Only a few bikes here. Must be out to lunch. So there we go. That's it. Wow, it's starting to look great. You can see the blocks here, the form work. So these are half forms. So you can see this from the outside, but inside you will not see all of that so this is the debris to build it all up because this is actually floor level just here that's all the debris still a lot to go though a lot of fill like two weeks worth of back filling you can see the walls on this side are starting to go up so that's the floor you got the floor there and then the walls for the actual structure which is exciting very exciting but yeah these half form columns see this right so you've got this half form column here right that's you know you're gonna see that from the outside but from the inside as you see on this side actually the walls is gonna be flat so you know you can't actually see the columns inside because the worst thing is you know when you go to a house and you see these big protruding columns you know in the house and it makes it hard because how do you fit in the TV and, and this sort of thing. Well, this is exciting. Let's have a look here. This is the two single car garages. Wow, look at this. Now, this is Villa B, Kingfisher B, and Kingfisher A, A and B units. Let's have a look here. Looking good, mate. Looking good. The wall's coming up here. Look at that. Look at that. So you'll notice actually this here, this wall, and this wall is a different height. Now the reason is actually it's not going to be the same height, but this is going to be higher because it's going to slope back to the road. It's going to slope back, back a bit, okay? So the idea is, you know, if there's big rains, you know, we have the driveway sloping backwards so the water can actually flow to the road. So, you know, our cars are protected from, you know, flooding, that sort of thing. So you've got this here, and in between these two columns here, I can tell you what that is. There's going to be like a two-step up from this wall where the ground starts a one, two step, and then in the middle here, you know, we've got a meter, just over a meter, I think it's 1.2 meters to hang a door, and this you can actually enter from the garage. So we've got an entry from the front, 
through the glass sliding doors through the front here and the second entry will be through here through the garage and that was my plan that was my idea I just I like to be able to you know, with the shopping the supermarket shopping especially the supermarkets pretty far away here so you could be driving a long way you know after a long drive you drive in you park your car and you walk straight into the kitchen because you've got the hallway here maids room and a powder room behind here but around here is where the kitchen will start so literally you walk from the garage here through this hallway and bam there you are you are in the kitchen you can put the goodies away so that's what it's about yeah, really happy with these half forms really really impressed stone look really nice very nice getting a lot of questions on YouTube so I'm going to do a separate you know video just answering questions about the build and let's have a look from this angle actually it's a warm day but it's not too warm it's pretty good just got to watch where I step Ooh, don't want to step on some rusty old nail or something <laughs> boys are taking a nap behind me they're tired working hard hard yakka yeah so a beautiful day Easter is over I had a really nice Easter break so I'm stoked about that and it's good just to get out here spent some time uh, with the builder this morning because as you can see the walls are coming up now so you can see the walls so it's really important you know the height of those walls so we've got to get it right because you know if we overshoot the mark then you know we're going to have a problem with our windows so we don't want that so you know I had a good chat with the builder this morning um, you know the guy that's helping me build it so you know I'm kind of doing it DIY and I uh, got one bloke to help me doing that but you know we were discussing where the heights of the wall is you know like are we going from here to here 50 centimeters so you know how high are we going how high is that wall before we put in the window so you know have to make allowances for that so at the back here because we have the wall you know we're just going to have like pretty small windows at the back in the bedroom but in the front we're going to have two big windows in the living space just here so big windows so we make uh, use of this view behind us so here we go the boys have arrived they're going to get back to work very very shortly so while it was not so noisy, I thought it'd come down. <clears throat> just show you what's going on. I'm just going to have a look here. From about here on this corner is Brian's lot. And I think actually from here, he will actually get to see glimpses of that sea. So that's good news for Brian. Very good. A few more troops arriving. <laughs> yeah, this guy on his bicycle. Here's Brian now. Brian, I've got some good news, buddy. Check this out, mate. Check this out. All right. A few, few blokes arriving now. Look, look. These, these fellas are coming down. This guy's on his bicycle. Oh, he's coming down. There we go, fellas. On your bike. <laughs> Literally. But anyway, the good news is this. Come with me, mate. Right. Stand back here. Stand here. You've got a window here and one one down there yeah. from here just come in closer to me what, what do you see there see the island what do you see just see the island you, mate you can see the ocean yeah told you yeah it's good night yeah so you'll get ocean views mate absolutely now check this out let's get a step ladder or something mate and I'm gonna show you that again now I've got thongs on <laughs> not the best but anyway I'm gonna try and get up here oh. Oh, look at that and that's only half because I'm only standing on two bricks but the ground floor is actually five bricks so you can actually see quite a nice view there I'll just jump down oh, there we go a lot lower there a <laughs> big difference big difference yeah you're gonna get a really good view from yeah there. but so will you mate from here from this window yeah here you'll get a bit of a view too because you're gonna be looking out at that very nice very nice as long as no one builds there <laughs> now let's come in around the back 
before the boys get started I just want to have a look at these walls remember that's the ground floor there that's where the ground floor starts I was just standing on that so the view is going to be even better very nice very nice indeed so let's just go out the back Looking out the back here, there we go. So this is for the laundry area. So this is actually gonna be the laundry, two laundries. This is my laundry, Villa A, and Brian's laundry, which is Villa B, Kingfisher. So let's sneak in. All right, let's have a look here. Oh, there we go. So that's the rooms, have a look at that. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Awesome. And again, I'm standing on two blocks and you can see that ocean. It's looking good, mate, looking good. Brian's trying to get up there. He wants to see it. He's a bit shorter than I am. <laughs> can you see it? Mate, you can see it from here. If you're in there and you have a big window, you'll get to see it out there. You will. Mark my words. Mark my words. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be laughing, but actually I, I jumped off and I knocked my arm against this thing. Look at this. Knocked my arm on that. I'm like, what's that? That's some kind of shovel or something. Man, that could have ended really badly. This is why you've got to be careful on site you know it's like a, a javelin or something <laughs> i mean if i came off here you know and fell back onto that, that that would not be good yikes let's have a look at the back here that's what it looks like at the back so there is a bit of room at the back so it might be a good spot to uh have a clothing line or maybe you know store your motorbikes or a kayak or canoe yeah canoe would be fun now someone has lost their hat here we go this is someone's hat there we go and look this is the well actually someone was asking me a question on the channel which was you know am i using mains water well here is your answer mate it's not mains water um actually this well goes down about I think it cost me about 20,000 or 25,000 peso to install this well. And this well goes down, I think it was about 35 or 40 feet. So it's not, not that deep because we're right, you know, the ocean's just there. And there's a channel, there's a bit of a channel that comes under us, you know, to get water from. So actually this pump is going to pump up the water. We don't use mains water. So that's what we do out here in Pondukit. Someone's lost their hat there. Someone's lost their hat. Coming through, having a look through here. It's looking good, looking really good. Actually, what I like about this is now you can see the wall on this side and the wall on this side. So really, I get a feel for how much room we have back here. And there's plenty. There's actually plenty of room. And I'm really excited about this because I can plant some trees and some shrubs and stuff just because it does get really hot out here. Now, one thing though, the roof line is gonna come from here, out to here by one meter. And then we've got almost two meters, it's about 1.8 meters to the neighbor's fence. So look, we, we definitely will have some room in between here at the back wall. I think the best idea is to plant some you know, trees, maybe not palms, because they do grow pretty big, maybe some like fire trees or something like that, some bushes, and get some privacy and just cool the block down and uh, obviously put some grass in that sort of thing i definitely want some nice grass and then from here okay so from here when we come out we actually come about four and a half meters so probably around about i think it's probably around about to here is our front yard so on my house you've got and it's the same on brian's but the opposite side so to about here where you see here where you know from about there that's our front front yard it's about four and a half meters 
and I'm probably just going to put a very small wall so I can still get that wonderful view and that's the other reason that I wanted to build up <clears throat> you know build up substantially just you know for that view only thing is um, we are coming out I think I think the idea is to come out here because this is the master bedroom here and I think I'm going to come out about I think it's around 60 cm because I'm going to have like a love seat where you can sit up here and then sit here and enjoy that view and just want to show you this okay so this is the bedroom here this back section that's going to be like a walk-in robe and bathroom so that's the bedroom the bed's going to be facing this way facing that ocean and taking in that wonderful view but then I'm actually going to come out 60 centimeters here and there'll be a love seat with a big window so the window is going to span all the way along here so you can sit up here right it'll be higher you'll actually be about here uh, from here I think it, we, we decide we're going about 60 or 70 centimeters probably about 60 so 60 up to about here so you'll sit here and then look at that view and uh, that's going to come out here which is just a love seat with a wrap around you know window that will take in that wonderful view so yeah that's what it's about oh hey birdie looks like a pigeon or something he's moving quick dreams do come true living that philippine dream it's exciting Can you imagine someone commented on this as well having a little mooring out here you could actually have a mooring out here with a small fishing boat so a little fishing boat and get out on the boat have the mooring moor her up and then go out and actually go fish and you know, fish for lunch fish for dinner Mate, I don't know how much fishing I will be doing, but I might be doing a little bit, especially if I can get a boat. But maybe in a few years when I can afford it. All right, well, I need to talk to the boys. I need to talk to the boys now. They just started work again. They're back to work. Let's go. Here we go. Back to work. We're just talking about the boundary same thing on Brian's house you've got the wall and then it comes out 4.4 meters but his master bedroom which is here is going to come out 60 centimeters so I'm just talking to Brian he's saying we've got a bit of room from that wall you can see the post there with the uh, paint tin on top but actually he's got a front yard it comes across about 4.4 meters same as me only difference is he's looking at the mountains he's looking this way yep yeah cool and mate I think from the terrace here you might actually see a bit of the glimpse but you've got that blocking you that's yeah. the problem that house just there yeah it's trash yeah. <laughs> how are you gonna do that oh come on mate mate you know we're live on YouTube right <laughs> cheeky cheeky <laughs> oh, 
All right, well, we're just gonna check out this build and just have a look at the progress. Apparently it's almost done. And I think the kitchen tops are about to go in. So we're gonna have a look, see what it looks like. Let's check it out. All right, let's go have a look. Have a look, see. We're just gonna poke our heads in. All right, so the first thing you'll notice is this huge outdoor entertaining space. You see the roof here inside. Looks really nice. I like the tiles he's put in here. Nice tiles and storage area. Room for a dirty kitchen. And you can actually see even from back here, you can see those islands. If you have a look there, actually see a bit of the water and the islands just here. And in the opposite direction, if I just come out a bit, you get this wonderful view of Mount Pundakit. That's Mount Pundakit there. Very nice, very nice. What a wonderful view. Unfortunately, our friend is not home at the moment. We're hoping he was home, but he's not. So we'll have to come back here another time, but just thought we'd stop in real quickly and show you. Actually, you could put a hammock up in the bushes here. You can see the slate here. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, so he's putting in a new kitchen. This is the slate for the kitchen. <laughs> We're having a nosy. It's nice. <laughs> yep. And uh, I just noticed this water tower. There's like a little tower with the tank there. Why do they put it on a tower like that? What's that about? I'm not sure. Look at this. Hopefully we can get in here one of these days and uh, actually show you around. But yeah, look at that water tower. But yeah, mate, I, you know, if I lived here, I could use this back space and you know, put a hammock up and just... Actually, it's really nice and cool in here. Over there, it's quite hot, but in here, it's quite cool. Obviously, it does need a clean up. But you could, you know, between two trees, sling a hammock in, you know, that'd be the go. It's really nice and cool with that shaded area. See the water tower here? <laughs> Not sure why they actually put it up so high. What's, what's that about? Like, it flows into the house. Oh, okay. So should we be doing that? Maybe we should be doing that. Pump the water up there and it's all ready to go. Yeah, well, maybe we should be talking about doing that ourselves so yeah nice build this one nice build we'll definitely try and get in here another day you can see there's still a few lots left but i think most of them have actually been sold well all of them have been sold but who knows like one might come up available you know one of these days i'm not sure but they could i did hear that you know one guy might be selling but uh, haven't been able to confirm I think a lot of guys are locked out due to the pandemic. That's the other problem too. <laughs> Mate, he might be sleeping. <laughs> Brian having a sticky beak. He's got his bed and mattress in there. Come on, you kookaburra, let's go. Yeah. What are you doing with the baby? What's going on? You're doing his hair. He's sweating. He's not Kanye West, okay? Like, all right. Come on here, girls. I don't think he likes it, eh? Look. Aww. No, he doesn't like it. I don't think he likes it. Oh, God. See, I'm away for five minutes and look what happens. Huh? Don't worry, son. I'm home. I'll protect you from these women. <laughs> son, can you say dada? Can you say dada? Nope. Dada? Dada. Say Dada. Dada. Go up, go up, yummy, go up, yummy. Dada. Can you say Dada? Dada. Dada. Yay! Dada. Ba. Dada. Pugi yummy, go up, yummy. Oh. Bang. Baby Pete. Pete. No. <laughs> Dada. He's very cute. Dada. Say Dada. Dada. Uh-oh, he's dropping the rubber bands. No. <laughs> <laughs> we 
Where's my beer? Honey, get me a beer. Chang. Get yourself beer. No, not doing it. The day's over. So thanks for watching. This has been Pete from the Property Club. I really appreciate you watching my videos. And if you give me a like, a thumbs up, that'd be very much appreciated. Double thumbs up and bye for now. Bye-bye.